here, and uh, coming to you again with another tobacco review. And as promised this week, it's Dunhill Elizabethan mixture. Um, I'll tell you about, about this uh, tobacco. It's um, obviously Dunhill. It's a vapor of Virginia Preak. Its country of origin is UK and um, it's very fine ribbon cut um, and the tobaccos it consists of are Virginia and Preak, salty Virginia and Preak. Um, as far as tin note on this, um, it's raisin and bready is what I get. Um, there's obviously hay like qualities in there but for the most part that's, that's the predominant ones for me was sort of raisin bread smell coming through. Uh, strength I found to be medium, taste medium, and a room note was, I mean, pleasant to tolerable, but at the end of that, it's cigarette -y, so take from that what you will. Um, and smoking it in my, I believe it'll be Savinelli. Beautiful wee smoke of this. Um, money well spent, and it just smokes so nicely. Um, I'm actually quite, I can see the appeal of uh, these Savinellis in that regard. And having a, another Max Gold, a nice lager, just about to finish this one. And that is beautiful. Sitting out on my newly made deck, which I've been on about for quite some time now, and I will show you that I just got to finish off a bit of um, around the edges. I don't know what your professional term for it is, but uh, anyway, I'll show you that in time. Very, very happy with it, very, very proud of it. So it's just nice to sit out here, and it's a scorching day here, um, 30 degrees, it's got maybe over there, that, uh, Celsius, so I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. It was like that yesterday as well, um, baking out there in, on this deck doing that. Got severely sunburnt, even with a hat and stuff, as I tend to, burn very easily. Gorgeous day. Um, so the um, leaf is in this uh, blend is the light, medium brown, short ribbon and definitely cut on the thin side. Um, I found it to be very dry to the touch out of the tin. Um, you could say it's, ready to, it's probably ideal for just straight out of the tin and smoking, although I hesitate to think that it's maybe just on the slightly drier side for me, at least mine. Um, flavours are tangy, sort of a sweet, salty, sour spiciness, which uh, makes for a lovely smoke, which I quite enjoyed about that. Um, so peppery on the palate, um, also on the lips, good depth of flavour in there. Um, I've smoked this many a time already, um, and I know from the fact when it gets down around the mid, mid bowl area, that um, the flavours gel and it really comes into its own um, and that Virginia, Virginia's are like um, all over the place bouncing around in a good way and uh, Preak comes through, balances out the sweetness of the Virginias it makes for a very uh, nice smooth um, bite free uh, smoke um, on the bite free I would, I would say being such a fine cut, a fine ribbon cut it does have the uh, ability to heat up if you're a, a, a faster smoker. Oop. Just crisp my new deck in there. Um, this burns down to a very, very clean ash, um, little if any dottle. Follow me on my Instagram, which I think is the same name as this, but it might be Bluefist67. Feel free to um, add me. Just recently been, uh, or today, harvesting uh, my tobacco 
Virginia tobacco plants. I've um, got those up hanging in the shed in the shade, drying out, and they, they come along nicely. I was uh, very pleased. The, I, I mean, that's the easy part over with, but now, you know, having to ferment them or maybe flavour them, and that's going to be trickier, I can see. But anyway, I'm going off subject here. Um, so the smokeability of this, it's um, good. It can heat up if you're too fast, smoke it. It's slightly dry, and uh, even with constant uh, tamping, I find it wants to go out on me a bit. It's a good introductory um, blend if you were wanting to, say, get into a vapour. It would be probably a good one to start with. It's, it's not um, nothing spectacular, it's just very solid. Um, and similar tobaccos, perhaps I'd put that with something like um, Bio Morning by Cornell and Deal, uh, which I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. That in mind, out of five, it gets three and a half stars. Anyway, I'm not quite sure what I'm reviewing next week, but I will definitely be back with another tobacco review in a week's time. Until then, hello, everyone.